Hello viewers, today we will be cleaning this set of Panasonic uh, telephones, model KXTG1031S. This is a Deck 6 set, and uh, it's in kind of rough condition. This one is very scratched up, and how it really would have gotten like that is beyond me, but it's uh, got a lot of wear on the back. Relatively dirty too. On the other hand said it's the same way. Not quite as bad with the scratching, but it's still very dirty. The base is pretty beat up. People must really slam these things in the cradle. I mean that's like it's got dents all in the plastic, for heaven's sakes. And here's the cradle, which looks like it's probably just dirty on the back there. I have some parts from uh, this one, because I started uh, repairing this before, just needing a uh, new speaker put in there, so I didn't get that on video, because it was fairly routine and uninteresting. Now, I've noticed this one may be having a, a, a problem. I've noticed twice now since I've been recording that the batteries seem to kind of disconnect. Contacts may just be dirty. Yeah, so he did it again. Yeah, maybe it's just a contact, uh, dirty contact issue. They are pretty dirty. Unblur. Okay, well, we'll take note of that. Uh, but let's get into these handsets. This one, I've already removed the uh, screws from it. Okay, now we're going to have, let's move this camera up a little bit, that's a better angle. Now we're going to have a screw up here at the top to undo. And we're going to have a screw, two screws at the bottom for the charging contacts. Okay, and now the speaker, it's the left side that has the, um, the tab that you move. In this particular case, we're going to push it down. I should take that off relatively easily. Now, so we can set this aside and we'll clean all these parts. Okay, with the handsets dis disassembled, we can see that there is some some of that gross, sticky stuff on the inside of the dial pad, which is why the buttons are not working very well. And there is some dirt seeping in through here, so it's going to take some time to get this cleaned up, but well, we'll get it cleaned up and working again.
Okay, now we're going to disassemble the bases. And we're going to need the extender for that. Um, will that fix the problem? Yes, it will. Just barely, though. We almost need the longer bits. Looks like this is going to open surprisingly easily. Um, or not. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Well, that's quite gross. How that much dust ends up. Not even dust, it's like crumbs from lunch or something in there. Okay. Here's the board. And we're going to have no screws on there. And we got two screws on this board to undo. Let this come up. Speaker looks like it's the same one as it's in the handsets. Uh, there may not be a reason to take that out actually. I think we'll just remove the contacts and we'll clean it in place. If that's doable, I'm not sure that it is. Uh, we may have to end up removing this. Those contacts do not look like they're meant to come out easily. Oh, that's not even to grant me the access that I wanted. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, so now we can wash that. Okay. That's going to be an awkward angle to work with. Actually, it wasn't quite so bad. Okay, so we can wash all those parts now.
While all the parts are drying, we're going to clean the charging contacts and the dial boards. These are pretty gross. Get that hair out of the way. These are extremely dirty. Almost looks like it may be starting to rust a little bit. Hopefully we can clean that up okay. So we're going to use the infamous isopressyl alcohol. This is 70% and it works just fine. And actually that's cleaning up relatively well. The side surface looks bad but it doesn't really matter. What needs to be cleaned is, is the bottom here because that's what actually contacts the uh, contacts on the base. There's definitely rust on there, that's weird. The buttons you can see have a lot of that sticky junk on there. Both of them, both the boards have it on there. And that's a big contributor to why the buttons don't work correctly. So we're going to go ahead and clean these boards off. Hopefully get rid of all that sticky material. And these boards are super easy to clean because there's no backlighting LEDs sticking through. Okay, that looks much better now little before and after view. Okay, we're going to begin reassembling the handsets now. Cleaned up pretty well. There's a lot of wear on it, so it still doesn't look very nice, but at least now it's clean. I thought I had this for drawing long enough, there's still some water in here. It looks okay now. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? There we go.
Okay, all the buttons are working very nicely now. Alright, that'll conclude that handset. Before I neglected to clean the charging contacts and so we're going to take this apart here and clean these and we're also going to clean these as well which are quite dirty and that much dirt on there will cause all sorts of problems with the charging. We're going to clean these as well with the Sopresso alcohol. This is actually rusted. That's not removable dirt. Uh, that's coming, gonna come off of this old pristle, that's rust. So, we're gonna have to sand it down.
Okay, there's the final product. Doesn't look the greatest, but it's all clean and usable now at least.